In this video, we're going to go over some of the requirements and tools that you're going to need in order to deploy your crew AI application. Now, if that sounds a little bit stressful, a little bit overwhelming. Don't worry about it. I'm going to break down the concepts first, and then in another video, we'll actually do the implementation. And the reason why I separate these two things is because I know for some of you, something like Git or version control might be a bit of a new concept. And if you do plan on making other crew AI projects, or if you do plan on working with these kind of projects later on, and this is the first time you're getting exposed to it, I want to make sure that you understand why we do this when it comes to like developing projects, developing apps, instead of just taking you through all the screenshots of what I'm doing, what I'm typing and having you follow along. I try to make my videos as beginner friendly as possible. So if there's a new concept that's being introduced, I don't want to assume that you've been exposed to this before or that you've done it in the past. So let's go ahead and get started. So previously, if you've been watching this series, you were able to launch your crew AI project, which we built in Google Colab just for proof of concept. And then in the previous video, we also built out the front end using Streamlit and we basically created a Streamlit application which worked as the front end for the crew AI project that we built in the back end. So at this point where we're at, you have a beautiful crew AI project, which you can launch on your browser. But at this point, it's only running locally. If you're trying to build a software product, you do need to deploy it in such a way that it can run outside of just your laptop and outside of you having to install it and going through this whole process. Basically, we want to get your app idea to a point where other people can access it online. So you can show it off and say, look at me, I'm making AI applications. And this is where deployment comes in. So in very simple terminology, all deployment means is that we want the application to live online, or rather we want the application to be hosted online. For this application in particular, we're gonna host it in the Streamlit cloud. And when we say the cloud, that just means that the application lives on a server. And what is meant by a server is, it's just a computer that has access to the internet to both send and receive requests. For example, your laptop, because even though your laptop has access to the internet, it is not the case that public users on the internet have access to your laptop. But on an application that is launched and is being hosted on a server, other people on the internet will be able to access the application by accessing the server where it lives. Again, I just want to keep the terminology as simple as possible. And just for you to be clear on the purpose of deployment, we want to go from a place where your application is just running on your laptop or your environment to a place where the application is accessible through the internet for other users to look at. And the way we're going to be able to launch your application or rather deploy it through Streamlit Cloud is going to be through a free service called Git. So GitHub is a very popular service for version control. That is, for programmers, software developers that write code that they wanna share with other people or with other developers. The way that this is typically done is by uploading the code to GitHub or pushing it to GitHub. And if the code is set to public, then other people will be able to access it and download it. If you look at the link for the Google Colab projects that I've shared on past videos, usually the first thing that happens is it clones or pulls the code from my GitHub repository to the Google Colab notebook. So basically that's the step that I had to do when I would write out the code for these projects. I would push it to my GitHub account. That way it would be accessible by Google Colab. In the same fashion, the code that you've written for your crew AI project, we're gonna work to push it to GitHub. That way it will be available. And then from there, we're gonna give access to the Streamlit cloud to this code. That way it will be able to launch your application within its cloud servers. And then. And in one simple sentence, what's happening is the code that currently is saved in your laptop, we're gonna upload to GitHub, and then we're gonna let Streamlit Cloud access the code on that particular GitHub account. So the main things that you're gonna need in order to deploy your account is gonna be installing Git on your machine. That's gonna be so you can use the GitHub commands on your terminal. After that, you do need to have a GitHub account and then using that GitHub account is what's gonna let you create a Streamlit Cloud account. And just for clarity, this is a page for installing Git, downloading it and running it, depending on whether you're using Windows or Linux, it might be a little bit different. This is gonna be a page for signing up and that's what's gonna give you access to a Streamlit Cloud. And then you're gonna to go to streamlit.io slash cloud in order to link your GitHub account to Streamlit. And again, these are vital steps in order to deploy the application through Streamlit. So thank you so much for that. Again, if you do want some one-on-one -on -one collaboration time, whether it's some questions you have about a problem you might be having with the project, my Calendly link is in the description and I'll be more than happy to jump on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.